Alright guys, we're finally at the track. We're just getting the car teched in. It's been a wild morning, but we're here. Um, hopefully we're going to get the car teched in and maybe we'll be able to make this first hit. Because they're already running our class, so let's cross our fingers. Okay. So we just ran our first pass, um, NA, uh, bad launch. It picked up pretty good in the back half, but the first half was pretty slow with a 2.160 foot and uh, 8.7 ET. I'll show you guys the slip here. Don't know if you can see that, the, uh, the right lane. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a 50 shot to it and see if it picks up. Um, but we might have to go down a class because it's running pretty slow. I'm also gonna see if I can load it up a bit more off the line and get uh, some more um, uh, power off the line there. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting for our next pass here. Uh-oh, Jordan's coming up to me with a smile on his face and a time slip in his hand. So you wanna see something funny? So first pass, right? I went a 939 at 76 miles an hour yeah. and I was shifting it at 6,000 RPM. Yeah. Okay, is... second pass, I went a 9.3 at 62 mile an hour because I was shifting at 6,500 and broke third gear. Oh, you broke <laughs> yeah. It's done? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Easy. Geez. Oh, clink, God. Clink, clink, clink. Brutal. That's all right. I'll just rebuild it for the third time. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. I'm thinking about ordering the parts already. Yeah. I know what I need. Yeah. Third gear, cluster gear. <laughs> Isn't that the third time you broke it? Uh, that particular one, yeah. Third time. Jeez. Third gear, third time. Yeah. Hopefully okay, that's all she wrote. What's crazy though, I, I went a faster ET with 10 less mile an hour because I shifted to 6,500 instead of six. Huh, just no power up there. I guess. Wait, you went a faster ET and slower mile an hour? Yeah, faster ET, slower mile an hour because I didn't I didn't get it into third. Oh, okay, just you slowed down again. Just first gear to second gear at 6,500. Yeah, I yeah. Went faster. Yeah, you would have went way faster. Cool. So, that was interesting. Nice, sweet. All right, guys, we're just getting ready to head up for our second pass of the day here. Let's go. We left about like um, maybe an inch of rubber up, uh, up the road there uh, in Gibson's. Oh, yeah. Was that you? Yeah, yeah. We oh, rode our bikes yesterday. Oh, I was telling yeah. to rip it off. Yeah, sick, man. <laughs> Good luck, man. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Alright guys, we're just getting ready for our second pass here. Um, they had the Christmas tree fall over, so we had to wait for a while, but we're finally getting up there. So, um, doing a 50 shot of nitrous, and we'll see how it likes that. What's your temp at? Uh, like 140. What? Like 140. I'll fire it up in a minute here. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, we'll get it fired up and let it get warm. Why are those guys going up there? I don't know. And don't forget to make sure you give your nitrous a pretty good purge with your bottle on. Yeah. It is? That's the guy that was in the, on the bike yesterday. He was just talking to me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, give it a good purge. Yeah, I will. I don't know if why these guys are going ahead of us. Yeah. I won't. If there's air in it, it'll cough on you. I know. I'll give it a good purge. All right. Oh, you 
can hear me, but we got Tyler, he's coming up for his first pass on the nitrous. We only got 50 horsepower jets in it right now, so it won't pick up that much. It'll be a good baseline to see if the motor likes the nitrous, if it's coughing or bumping or spinning or anything like that. So, we'll see how this goes. up around like five grand on the nitrous <sighs> that's okay. well shit i know yeah no. what was it at 32 e thir 31 okay we'll try that all right guys so here's the time slip for our last pass there it went a oh, sorry eight three at 86 mile an hour eight thirty two one and uh 0.040 reaction time, not too bad. So we're dialing in an 8.3, so we have a little bit of cushion there to go a bit faster if we have to. Yeah, should be pretty good. We got everyone here. Lane's here. His car's broke. George's Jeep's broke. So it's just me left. Everything's broke. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good day. This is it. This is elimination. First pass. So. Tyler's got to win this or he is out for the day. So we're hoping for a good clean run here. the race it looks like but we're gonna have to take a look at that because that is not good all right what do you think of that pass tyler how did it feel uh, it uh felt good but uh, apparently we white smoked the tranny again because she was super hot i think i was idling for so long and the idle's surging like crazy so we got to figure that might out might be heat related but we uh yeah well, I don't know. I was doing it here too. But we uh, we lost. We broke out. I pedaled it early. I forgot to turn the GoPro on though, so you don't get to see that. Yeah, it went too fast, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when I pedaled it, but I pedaled it near the end, like probably at least 60 or 80 feet before the, maybe even more before the uh, cone, so. Yeah. But yeah, upon closer inspection, it uh, puked a whole pissing. bunch of tranny Is fluid out leaking? of the breather. It. It's just pissing. Okay. Yeah, and apparently it's still leaking right now. Oh yeah, you can see. That's not good. No. This is, it did this to us on our test drive 
yesterday as well once we got it back to the shop. So something's not 100 percent right. We might have to. Oh, there's another exhaust burn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna have to do to it, but that's where we're at. So we're gonna work on it, but uh, that's probably gonna be the last pass you see today. So uh, we'll update you with what's going on. All right, guys. So we lost because of a breakout. So here is my run from earlier, the pass before. Um, went a 1.84060 foot and 8.32 eighth mile at 86 miles an hour my pass in eliminations i dialed in at an 83 because i went 832 um, and we ran a 824 with an even worse 60 foot and a way lower mile per hour because i let out of it really early but we still went too fast and broke out from our dial in now the reason for that is because it's super hot out and the bottle pressure went from about 700 psi to 950 psi yeah she had all the nitrous in her yep so, um, <laughs> Jesse, <yeah. laughs> we're gonna have to uh, do some more tuning with this thing, and yeah. uh, we'll probably get a bottle heater so it's more consistent. Yeah, find a way to regulate that bottle temp because we can't have it swinging by 300 psi between passes. It's yeah, gonna pick up two, two tenths on a 150 shot. And we gotta pick up, we gotta figure out our tranny because we keep puking tranny fluid. Yeah, so we got some ideas for that a trans cooler and a um, catch can. Catch can. Anyways, we're gonna watch the rest of the races here and we'll uh, get some videos of some other people racing. Oh, yeah. Just got back from the track. It was an awesome day. Tev's here helping me unload and he was a wicked help at the track today. He helped us figure out our spark plug gap and our timing and everything for that nitrous hit to work. So we're excited to uh, do some more racing and he's gonna help us out in the pits a lot and uh, it's gonna be sweet. Next time we'll hit her with a little more nitrous. Couple more fine tunes to do. Um, <laughs> otherwise like uh, with the rotten fuel and all that jazz that you <laughs> yeah. got in there. Uh, <laughs> two-year-old fuel. Yeah, two-year-old fuel. It burnt real well. So <laughs> yeah, it did what'd pretty you good. What did you run, Tyler, in 8-1 eight, 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 today? Yeah, uh, 8-24, I think, eight, was our fastest pass. That's when I go. broke out. Yeah. yeah. Next time, we'll get yeah. in the sevens. All right, guys? I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Buddy, buddy. <laughs>